How about that? to the epilogue today episode three what a fucking episode that was holy shit i'm like i i almost cried it, it took a lot but i didn't and i won't unless i find out how things happened okay before we get to the ending though let's start at the beginning because man what a I, day right it was emotional there was just a lot happening, and this is all, like, coming straight on the heels of Kate's, for me, Kate's suicide, for you, Kate's, whatever, emotional day. So everybody's, like, reeling, and then all this shit happens. Like, yeah, ugh. tell me about what your gameplay looked like. Um, I okay, sorry, I'm getting to the questions. This is the one day I didn't screenshot them, I forgot to. I was, like, so stressed out about what the fuck happened at the end that I didn't remember. <laughs> it's okay, my game's crashing right now, so it won't let me open up <clears throat> my choices either. Okay. So if you I need two open. seconds. Hello, Matt. Hello, Kraft. Hello, Jam. How's it going, you guys? Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, stream gameplay so far. You guys have been joining us on Twitch for all of the choices that have been, make, been made. We're actually kind of in a neat flow where Kenzie's starting just a little ahead of me so that you guys are having the ability to start with Ken, see how things are going, and then host over, and she's been hosting over, and then you guys get to join me for the last of it, and you get to see what is how things are different, and then here we get to talk about all those choices. So this is yes, working I love out this. perfectly. Um, okay, I was able to pull up the questions. Uh, stealing the money in the school. Did you steal the money? Of course I did. Okay, I did as well. <laughs> what? No, I was like, there's no way Ken is going to steal this cash. So I fucking stole it. Uh, what are you talking about? Chloe needed that money for her her truck. She yeah. owes Frank money. And the second she steals it, she goes, oh, I feel so bad. And then oh. it... What? I mean, I guess... Like, I, I guess... Like stealing is wrong or whatever, but like he, you even say like hmm, that's a suspicious amount. Like I feel like that's the president's uh, principal slush fund. I think you just oh stole yeah, and it just has fund. a fake title on it for sure. Yeah. No, it's definitely um, his like shut the fuck up money. Right. It's actually um, <clears throat> the percentages are forty eight and fifty two, and forty eight percent of people stole the money, so it's pretty even. But we're on the like just a hair less people stole the money. <laughs> Just a hair. <clears throat> um, did you kiss Chloe? I think I can assume you did. I did the first time. And I wanted to see what the you options rewound? were. I kissed her. I rewound it. And then she instantly calls me out. And she goes, whatever. You just rewound time. She's like, you know you kissed me. And she called me out so hard. It was like she knew me. So I left it that way so that she knew that I had my sneaky fast forward kiss. That's adorable. Oh, ah! that's so cute. So What'd you, you do? didn't kiss her officially. I kissed her. I, I honestly, Corey, I didn't really rewind at all this entire episode. I was like, I'm stealing this money. It's mine. I earned it. And I'm oh, like, God. I'm <laughs> Chloe, and I'm taking credit for it. <laughs> why? So why didn't you rewind? Just out of curiosity. You're just like, you were all in on your decisions this time? I was. I wanted to kiss her, and I didn't want to. I. That's what I want. Of course I wanted to kiss oh. her. She's like, I dare you to kiss me. And I was like, I couldn't hit the button fast enough. And then she like grabs her so quickly. And it felt like exactly probably what I would have done. And then yeah, when I, I rewound I time. I care just... about the other option. I wanted to kiss her. And she said, kiss me. So I kissed her. And I'm living with that decision. Okay. And then five <laughs> minutes later, I'm dressed up like her ex, clearly. Like, and then I walk downstairs and her mom calls me Rachel. And I was like, I know. I'm so glad I didn't kiss her. Like, I would feel like such an imposter right now. 
<laughs> Honestly, you're stepping straight into her ex-girlfriend's shoes, and it feels a little cringe. And what's the next thing you do? You go flirt with Frank to get the fucking keys to his car. Like, it's too creep status. So I'm already dressed up like her ex. Like, I want to be her next, not her ex, you know? So I rewound time, and then she was like, you know you totally rewound time and kissed me. And I was like, yeah, I did! It's really funny that she called you out. I would have I would have liked to rewind just to experience that, but like whatever. <laughs> Super cute. Uh, whatever. <laughs> um, in the fight with David and Chloe, who did you side with? Well, I initially sided with Chloe because duh. But I had to know what happens if you don't. So I rewound and chose both. Um <laughs> so tell me what you did, because I know both sides. I said it with Chloe, and I did not rewind. I said, <laughs> I'm on Chloe's side, and I support her. I give up. Flying shit with David has to say. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. And so he gets kicked out of his house, and then if you go talk to him, he's like, I don't want to talk to you. It's like, understandable. In the last 48 hours, I got this man fired and kicked out of his home. <laughs> like, Oh, see, I didn't get him fired because I actually got Nathan suspended. <gasps> That's right. You did do that. Well, David still has a job. He just has to go live in a hotel for a little while. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so in the last, like, 48 hours, I fucked this man's life up. Okay? Wow, you really did. Yeah, you were like, this guy's a pedophile. Get him out of here. Like, you're just you're just signing, signing checks for him all day. Yeah, so um, I was curious what would happen if I chose David. Because some of the options seem so obvious. Like, oh, right. choose Chloe. Like, yeah, okay. Throw the bone in the in the road like some of them just feel like they really are like obviously don't do that one so i wanted to know what happens in those ones that's a good point i get the curiosity i just i felt very confident this episode about my choices up until like the end <laughs> i think it's that like false like it, it's supposed to be that way i think that they're really yeah. setting us up for that false like uh security feeling like that's why like the whole chapter like, it kind of, like, took me off at the beginning. Like, it's called chaos theory. And then nothing feels chaotic. It's not like, oh, what is the right thing to do? Like, it feels like, okay, obviously it's I'm going to... It just didn't feel that way. So, I, uh, it, it had me on edge the whole time. So, I okay. went back in time and I chose David. And it so, just... you kept, like, you kept, like, seeing both sides of it because you were, like, nervous about that. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, like... yeah, that makes sense. So if I, I went back in time and I chose David and all mom does, mom steps up and simmers everything down. And she's like, let's not accuse anyone. Like everyone chill. And then what topped it off is that Chloe says, I got to take a dump. Come on, Max. What? Like, in the middle of the fight? Well, you're no, accusing that's how she ends it. That's how she ends it. She's like, I got to take a shit and you're coming with me. And I'm like, do I oh. have to? Do I have? What do I have to come? I don't oh. want to when you side with David, you have to go to the bathroom with with Chloe. That's what she says. Oh my gosh. I was like, I'm not doing that. So I went back in time and chose to be her friend. <laughs> I refuse. If you, David, if you choose to side with David, you get a torture shit experience. <laughs> I was not about that. Although it does feel like choose, I think choosing siding with David is the better outcome. I don't think that he's supposed to be exiled. I was talking about this a little bit in, during my stream that I feel that they're really painting David to be a villain, even if he, he's not, he's being more vilified than he is. He's just a, not a great guy. He's not doing the right things in life, but he's not a bad guy. And he's you think being they're, they're setting him up to be like the, the stationary villain because in the end, it's not going to be him. It's going to be somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay, I can see that. Um, did you keep Frank's dog from harm? I think I was sort of in and out of your chat during that period. I think you chose to save it, and then you chose to see what happened, and then you chose to save it again because, like, you, you know, Milo. <laughs> well, Milo had nothing to do with it. Um, I was no I, dog love for, for Milo. I really thought that if you threw what I expected is one of two things: if you threw the bone into the road, that it would cause an accident. 
that somebody would like swerve to not hit the dog and you oh. would cause a chain reaction of accidents. Alyssa could die. <laughs> Your favorite person. <laughs> I don't have anything wrong. I don't She just means nothing to me. She's just another girl getting bullied. Like I can't I, I took on Kate, okay? I can't help you too, Alyssa. I'm not a fucking charity case. I, I stole five grand for dinner. Like I can't come back and save you too. <laughs> Uh, okay. Like, did I'll you talk get, you off your ledge? Okay. Did you find the gun in Frank's RV and give it back to Chloe? No. That's oh wait, hang on. You... you no no. I have the gun. I never lost it. I shot him. Oh okay okay. So you get so... the you got the gun back. Yeah. So it, so the question is actually, does Chloe have David's gun at the end of this episode, or does Frank still have it? And I found it in his RV and gave it back to her. I, uh, so I got a brag. But you never lost it. That's good. I never lost it, yeah. No bully okay. takes my gun. Okay, those are all the big questions. So then the small ones are Lisa is alive, Lisa is dead. Who's Lisa? Is Lisa the mom? I have no idea who that is. No, Joyce is the mother. Who is Lisa? I don't know, but on my playthrough, <laughs> she's dead. And I was like, who the fuck she's is this? She's dead? <laughs> it just says Lisa's alive or Lisa's dead. And I was like, Oh, no. What's the rabbit's name? Uh, the picture that's next to the word Lisa is a blue cup with like a little flower on it. What I have no fuck? fucking clue who this chick is, but she's dead. Who the that's fuck is it. Lisa? And she's oh, dead? No. I'm so upset that I can't get into my game right now. Like, it, I'm like a task manager is not even showing. Um, there's it's... another one that says, "Did you help Warren with his exam?" I did not help him. No. I went into the science lab and looked at the scores, but I didn't know that you- Oh, oh, I did. I changed his grade. Oh, you did change his grade. Yeah. Good for you. I yeah, didn't know you could change the grade. I just, like, looked at it, and he was, like, A minus, and I was like, that, that's a good enough grade. And no, I just he got a B minus. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't pay attention he get, to he it He gets a B minus, so that's why she's like, that's not good enough. And then you have, when you look at it again, you can make it a B plus. You just, like, swipe a line through it. Oh, damn. Yeah, no, I didn't help him with Warren's this. Warren's my boo. I'm trying to have a threesome. I'm trying to live a thruple with Warren and Chloe, okay? I thought you didn't like nerd-ass Warren and you only wanted Chloe. I want Warren. I want to go on a date to see the Planet of the Apes. Now he's in this new reality we created. He's dating what's what's her bitch face. She's way cooler gonna... than us, though. <laughs> I want to go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you can still go. Just not with him. <laughs> or you can crash their date and be their thruple. <laughs> You can still okay, go. Um, are you on the Vortex Club party list now? Well, now I'm in their club, baby. No, no, no. Did you add your name to the party list? God damn it! No! How did you do that? Um. Oh, my game just... Oh, no, it didn't. Um, at the swimming pool, when you break into the swimming pool, over in the corner, they have all of that, like, shit set up for the party that's about to happen. If you go into the very, very far corner of it, there's a little scratch pad. You go up to it, and it was like, oh, this is the club party list. Do you want to add your name? And I was like, hells yes, I added my name. And then it was like, do you want to erase other names? And I was like, nah. So I only added my name. But apparently on this checklist, it's like, you are on the list. And then it's like, you didn't change the party list. I could have erased people. What if I erased, like, Victoria off of my I would company? have. Def well, not Victoria, because she's the leader. She's the captain. She obviously would have. They would have been like, well, that's wrong. I didn't think about it. I didn't. I, I, I wonder. Okay. I, I don't know who's on the list. I would have definitely added my name, and I definitely would have uninvited someone. Or I would have probably uninvited Victoria just so that they could be like, sorry, you're not on the list. You can't get in. That's what that is funny. Like, that sounds so fun to me. I can't believe you didn't. You didn't do any chaos in the fucking chaos theory? God I damn. added to the list, and Lisa's dead. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I killed Lisa! Um, okay, back now. now we're in the house. Back at Chloe's house, after you take a shower, put on Rachel's clothes, and Joyce is making you breakfast, did you erase the cop's voicemail off their yep. off their answering machine? Yep. Oh, so did I. Only 30% of people did that. <laughs> what? I, I listen to it. I hear mom react about it. So I, I, re I was like, re-fucking wind that. <laughs> yeah, I went back in time. I was like, delete. Yeah, I was like, Chloe, I got your back. You need to deal with it. <laughs> well, the problem is, is we're still getting, like, the cops now, right? So, like, I'm just saving here some home drama. Right, and but technically the cops just said they saw the car near there. They didn't see her, so it's like, yeah, it's still not like enough for an arrest. But yeah. um, the next one is, did you help Alyssa? I did. Uh, no. Warn her <laughs> about the muddy puddle. <laughs> I 
I laughed at her when it happened. You walked up to her and talked to her and she was like, I can't talk, I'm covered in mud. And you're like, ha ha, you just left. <laughs> Oh, I can't be responsible for Alyssa. She needs her own time bodyguard, okay? I have she client... does. Jesus Christ. I'm a time bodyguard. I warned her every episode about something. It's ridiculous. She is the true victim of this game, though. I've seen her get fucked up way more than anyone. Like, Katie's like, oh, my video got out. First of all, it wasn't like. Oh, Lisa's the plant. I killed my plant. I watered it too much. Craft, how could you let me do that? Hang on, did you water it in the first episode? Yeah, and the second one. And in the third one, it died? Yeah, because um, I watered it too much. Did you only water it one time? Yeah, mine's alive. Because I walk up to it in the second episode and I water it and I go, first I save Chloe, then I save Katie, and now I'll save you. So I... So you didn't water it in the first episode and that's your saving grace. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't overwater it. Oh my god. I'm saying so I'm sad. I'm an angel, Alyssa. Alyssa, just live near me, okay? You'll survive. <laughs> I'm all I've done is give life to everyone. I even saved William at the price of his daughter's happiness and life. Life yeah. I I killed a plant and a and a human so far. I'm on a, I'm on a good run. Um so the next one is you Can didn't I... warn the homeless woman. Did you warn a homeless woman? About what? I don't Where? know. I didn't when was it a I homeless got... woman? I don't know. I didn't warn her, though. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't warn her. There's no way. There's no way I the warned her. The next one is really frustrating. It says, you didn't take a photo in the past. I did take a photo in the past, but I rewound, like, all the way to the start. After he walked out the door the first time, I wanted to start fresh. I rewound past the photo. I forgot to retake it. Did you what take a photo? photo? In the past? No, I didn't take a photo. If you walk up to her camera at the table, it'll be like, take photo. And then she and her dad will pose for you, and then you can take their photo. Mm. God damn it. <gasps> You're going to be able to go back and, like, fix things. I'm not. I no, probably... no, I, didn't, I didn't take the photo. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to fix time then. I think If we don't have that photo, can we go back in time? I don't know. What about the original photo that got us here? Can I use that photo again? But I tried to take a photo in the past. I just accidentally rewound too far. God, fuck. Did you leave a mark on the fireplace? Nope. I did do that. I scribbled a What's butterfly that? on the fireplace. There, where's the fireplace? In the past. When he's, like, hunting for his keys, you walk over to the fireplace and scribble a little, like, butterfly on it. Oh, that's cute. No. Oh, my God. This game is going to just be so bad for me. It's going to end so poorly. There's no way... I took I, I unlocked two different achievements for photos I took though. Did you take a photo of the aquarium? Uh yeah, when you're in game and you go over to your photos tab and you click on the episode, you can see what photos you have to take that are optional photos. I got most oh, of them. Oh, I didn't do that at all. I didn't even know In your book, it shows in your book wh where to take it. It'll be like a picture of a fish and you're like, "Oh, look for fish." And then like I saw the aquarium and I was like, "Oh, that's the photo." Did you and do the was... skelly one with the cigarette? Yeah. Yeah, I did um, almost all of them. I did the one with the squirrel and the uh, fireflies. I did the one that's a selfie in the mirror with the flannel. Um, I don't think I did... I did. Those were the only two that I got. <laughs> oh, there's like 10 in every episode. And if you go into your journal at the beginning of the episode, it shows you which 10 you are looking for. So you kind of can be on the lookout for different like scenarios. All right, cool. Yeah, so check your journal next time. I'm going to. I'm trying to load into the game right now and see what's going on. Welcome, Sham. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, oh, crazy, huh? Weird day. Okay, what else do we have? I killed my plant, and I killed Kate. <laughs> that was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you only killed um, the plant today. So, yeah, I went and saved. I don't... Is there a way to progress without Chloe ending up in the wheelchair? Spoilers for everybody. Blah. Okay, I assume this, they know it's a spoiler. This is an epilogue, first of okay. all. Okay, it has to be. It is a spoiler. The whole thing's a spoiler. Yeah. Um... Because, like, remember the dad walks out the door that first time and then it freezes? And it's like, you you can't progress the game unless you do this, right? Is this something that has to happen? I think you have to do... You're, I think what we have to change it for this next chapter. But I'm, t I'm assuming that we're going to have to make a choice. We're either going to have to go back and let Chloe take the fall for everyone to save everybody. Or we let her dad die and let things happen naturally. I'm assuming it's going to be the fifth chapter is going to be like, 
kind of make it or break it is how I imagine that the game will unfold. Makes sense. Makes sense. Because we yeah. were forced into it. Because they don't let you. You can't just let things go naturally. Right. So, yeah. Okay. I... But is, did we... The question that really matters is... Well, you and I got the same thing. Like, if there is there something that we can do in that time to stop her from cut showing in the chair is the question. Well, see, that's what I was... Yeah, that's what I think. It's like, I don't think you can. Because when he walks out the door in your flashback... The whole game goes black and white like when it freezes like you have one option and it's to rewind like you i don't think you can let him leave i think it has to happen yeah but i don't know what that means for episode four and five because <laughs> you're right i think that's when they're going to make you choose which is ugh. so you're telling me at the end well and that would make sense why the next game is a prelude to this game because oh you mean before the storm yeah because there's pro like the ending could probably be so dramatically different that it was impossible to build a new story. Potentially, yeah. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. I don't know, man. I so did you cry? I did not. Really? I, I was, I like, was... Ken definitely weeped. <laughs> she had uh, to wept. her makeup. <laughs> it's wept, first of all. But uh, yes, no, no. I did not it cry. Was but ugly. I was like, you weeped. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ugly. No, I was like, what? <laughs> like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, uh, that was my baby girl. I just kissed her. It was my first kiss. I found a in her wallet, which I'm not mad about. She's allowed to have sex if she wants, I guess. And then we had breakfast with her mom. And then she got, I didn't even get, to, I did kiss her, first of all. Kissed her. It's like she's flirting with me through time. It's like, she knows me so well. I was like, oh my god, I've never felt so seen. Like, I wanted to go back and kiss, I was gonna go back and kiss her. Like, hands, like, 100%, no fucking, like, anything about it, I was gonna go back and fucking kiss her. And instead, she, like, saw through all my bullshit. I was just like, mm, okay, I won't. Like, she's like, I know you kissed me in a rewound. Like, god, she's good. Oh. I, I blushed in real life. Like, I was like, oh god. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. How do I? Can I turn this music off? I got the. Sorry, I got the audio from. The game. Yeah, you can go instead and turn it off. We need to go. It is almost time for Bigfoot. No, hang on. I want to check my choices real quick. Okay, hurry. You got. If they, if, if they did a round without us, those rounds take like 30, 45 minutes. We're fine. They're no. I told them to go ahead and play a round without us. Oh, okay. Well, I told. Uh. Drea to tell them that. Okay. So that's dicey at best on what's gonna happen. I think she was still getting ready at like eight fifteen, yeah. so I doubt they've started officially. It is what it is. I'm not gonna rush through this. To do, you know, it's like bonus. Um, what I do, I want to look at my choices real quick. I want to see if I have different choices because we have different stories going right now. That's what I wanted to see. True. That's true. Okay, so I stole the money. I didn't kiss Chloe, which is in the 22% of people, 78% people kissed Chloe. Um, and then you sided, I sided with David. Uh, I mean, I sided with Chloe, which was on the top. Yeah. Um, only 5%. Okay. So it says you got Frank's dog hurt, not killed. I think that's important. Um, wait, you got his dog hurt? No, no, no. I'm just saying the the wording there. It's not like you killed his dog, but it says you got him hurt if you threw the okay. bone in the road. So I'm wondering if that'll mean something later. Um, Chloe has David's gun. Yeah. Because, like, obviously, I've always had the gun. Lisa <laughs> so is alive. Oh, I, uh. I did help him with his. Oh, that's right. I did help him with his exam. Yeah, you said you changed his I grade. am not on the party list. <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm going to a drive-in. I'm going to a party. I'm going to the <laughs> Halloween. I got all kinds of plans. Yeah, dude, I didn't help Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't warn the homeless woman. I don't even know what scene that is. I yeah, yeah. I didn't take the photo, and I didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. Yeah, it's hilarious. What do you to do? Yep. All right. Dude, so good. I'm loving this. So I hope you guys are with us for tomorrow. 
Uh, chapter four. Ooh, episode four. Call it whatever the fuck you want. Episode, episode four, four. Is supposed to be longer. Don't forget. It's like supposed to be like three and a half hours instead of like two. God damn, it's going to take me like five hours, isn't it? It seems to take you a little longer than it's taking me. It'll take me like two and a half hours. It'll take you like three hours. It really depends on how you play, though. Like, you can go around, like, you could just walk out, like, you could probably go through the chapter in 40 minutes if you just didn't do anything and just walk to the end. But, like, a lot of rooms, it's like, should I look around? Should, like, I'm kind of looking for, like, little hidden things sometimes, you know? Like, I would have loved to warn the homeless woman. I don't know about what, but I feel like I, that's something I would have done. I would not have helped Alyssa in any reality with this. You just are not a fan of Alyssa. I'm just not her fan i'm not not like i don't have any ill will i'm just not a fanatic of Alyssa. okay <laughs> i'm also not a fanatic i'm just a human being who sees somebody getting injured and wants to help them doesn't make me Alyssa's number one fan it just makes me like a do-gooder <laughs> Okay. Who well, apparently breaks and enters with pipe bombs and yeah. steals. First of all, you stole five grand for dinner. You don't get to be like, I'm a deal getter. Fuck you. You're a <laughs> phony. <laughs> I am a only a do gooder when it does good for me. <laughs> okay. But here's here's the deal. I wouldn't let Alyssa take the fall for Chloe. Like if it was like reverse, like, oh, like the problem is like Alyssa's in the wheelchair, like I I would still like rewind time for that. Be like, no one deserves to be in a wheelchair just because. Just like, because you have the safe. power. I want to yeah. know why she's in a wheelchair. Why the fuck does Chloe have to be punished because her dad's alive? Well, they'll, I'm sure they'll tell us that in the next one. Like, what happened? She her you know? she must have broke her neck somehow because did you see how it was like holding her head still? Yeah, she still has like the fucking halo on. Yeah, like she something whatever happened to her. Big is, access. Uh, paralyzed her obviously like and she has she like total paralysis from the neck down because she's like taped in and everything but her parents are obviously taking good care of her because like her body looks pretty good for somebody who's paralyzed you know like they don't have that like thing where like their skin like doesn't move and they like don't have any blood flow and their like body starts to like deteriorate and they, like, oh she probably blood. has pt probably has full pt and stuff yeah so like she got she got to keep her dad and obviously he's taking like even though tragedy struck, like, they're taking care of her. Right, can absolutely. Can you tell her? Can you just ask her, do you want me to save your dad? Like, is do you think they're going to give me that option to be like, listen, I can change this, but it's going to cost you your father. Well, that's the thing. It's like, I wonder if, I wonder what she would choose. And I wonder if there's a way for you to go back to the future and tell her what happens and let her, you know, like, ugh. I don't think either Chloe would choose herself, though. Ch Chloe's not a selfish girl. You like, think she would choose her dad being alive? Yeah, I do. Like, she, blue hair Chloe would definitely choose her dad being alive. That's true. Honestly, then, it is. I don't know. Unless she's, like, grown, like, resentful, but her dad was like, oh, she's excited to see you, and she comes up, and she doesn't seem angry. I don't know. We'd have to talk to her in the next chapter to find out, like, does she regret whatever it is that got her into that chair. And is mom alive? <clears throat> and is it just Chloe's life that's truly affected? So far, we don't know. All we see is that she's, her dad's alive, but she's paralyzed. And that's all we know. But what we do know is that whatever is coming is still telling us that we're fucking up because there's still a bad omen at the end of the chapter. But I wonder if there's always a bad omen, no matter what. That could just be the way the game's designed. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be one of those build-ups at the very end in the last chapter. It's going to be like, you can just go back and every decision doesn't really matter. Like, you're just going to have a chance to, like, really fuck the game up. <laughs> I think they're going to give us, like, that much control towards the end of the game? Well, that's kind of how time games work, you know? Either all the choices in one won't fucking matter at all because that future doesn't exist, or any choice that we make in this next one won't matter because that future won't exist. But we know that it's doing chaos theory, so it means it's all, there's only one possible future, so no matter what, one of them won't matter for anything. Did someone just buy something on your stream loot? Uh, I guess. I had a stream loot alert go off. That's oh, fucking my. sick. <laughs> Dupe. <laughs> That's I don't know what it is, but I want half of it. No, I'm just kidding. It's like a yeah. dollar's worth in half. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> 
Okay. okay but um, yeah, we should get going for Bigfoot. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, guys. I had a really great time. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you guys are enjoying day. this. What a crazy day. It was so emotional. I'm just wrecked. I uh, I drink a beer and I'm feeling better. And this kombucha is really bringing <laughs> me back to life. So, phew. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye, everyone.